to, I know you've probably read the article. The link will be in the description down below for you to go read it if you have not. Do not support the Sony VR. Do not buy it. Just because you heard that there's a discount, do not buy it. Because that discount isn't a discount. It's smoke and mirrors. It's fake. It's false. Sony is still jerking you off. They are straight up just circle jerking, hoping you fall for this trickery. PlayStation VR requires a camera. Requires. Doesn't matter which of the two you get, because there's two of them, but it requires a camera. Sony ripped the camera out of the packaging to say they're giving you a camera for free. If you go back and you look at the bundle, the actual big bundle that was $500, the camera was included. So Sony ripped the camera out of the package and now it's giving you one for free. That's how they're tricking you here. That's the trick. Smoke and mirrors, sleight of hand, if you will. It's not real. It's not a real discount. Okay. But marking it from $500 to $400, that's $100 off. Just because instead of putting the camera in the box, they took it out. Okay. But that means that move controllers are still $70 over asking price of what they should be. I'm not going to let that go. When I saw them move controllers at $30 and then all of a sudden they shot up $70 fucking dollars because they got included into the PSVR. Go fuck yourself, Sony. Go fuck yourself with an iron pickaxe. I don't care that you put them in with a VR headset. Nobody was using them for shit until then. Nobody. They, weren't they were doing nothing but collecting dust. Big ass light bulb. Wii controllers. That's what they are. Nobody was using them for shit. And you know it. So, again, that's seventy dollars. Your pocket. You're you're literally putting in your pocket. That's it. You're doing nothing else. You're ripping your fans off. This is a smoke and mirrors fucking tactic. They're hoping to boost sales, which is a great idea. They need to have a discount on this machine because even though it is the cheapest one, it's the cheapest one. Do you see what I did there? Even though it's the cheapest one, it's the cheapest one. Because Oculus and HTC Vive, both computers, um, both PC ones, and I think being their PC ones, they use like Steam and shit like that. Meaning they got a mass library of shit that is through PC. PlayStation doesn't. PlayStation depends on PlayStation. Look at the difference of the libraries here. Price point is a big deal. And considering PlayStation relies on PlayStation, library games is like that. It's small. It, it's, it's seriously small. Let's compare it to the Wii U. Remember, everybody was bitching about the Wii U not having any games. It has no games, no games, no games, no games. No, there's nothing to play, nothing to play. You have first party games and that's about it. Where in the fuck are, the, where's the support for the fucking Wii U? That's basically what the VR headset is right now. They're asking you to invest into the VR headset with nothing to show for it. And the price point is like that of a PS3. They want you to basically spend the same amount of money on a PS3 with nothing to show for it. And they call it PSVR this time. Nobody should fall for this. Nobody should. Because there's no reason to. There's no reason for you to buy a PSVR where them, one, they're losing exclusive games. Batman VR was announced exclusively for the PSVR. Now it's on Oculus Rift. Due to the fact they couldn't fucking keep the VR headset in stores. It released in October didn't get restocked until after or a little before the Switch came out. They had all that time to dominate the market and make sure people ran out of money before the Switch ever came out. They didn't even take advantage of it. Did not take advantage of that marketing. They didn't do anything for it. Nothing. Developers, I think, noticed that. Because there's nothing available for it. So... Again, I, I just want to push it. I want to put this out there. I don't care if you're a diehard Sony fan or not. I don't care if you love PlayStation with all your fucking heart's content. I don't care. The thing that I care about is money, okay? Marketing the PSVR 
from $500 to $400 is all smoke and mirrors because all they did was take a camera out of the box and market it off $100 because now the camera is not in the box. It's smoke and mirrors. You still got to have a fun camera. And the camera is only as value as 60 bucks. It's a $60 camera. I have a camera. I bought a camera back when I bought my PS4. Way back when. And the camera I already have is compatible with it. It works just fine. Sony said that that camera will work. It might not be the best one to use, but it works. All the shit Sony has released will work with the VR headset. They've said that. They said it might not be the best quality, but it works. And VR is not about the best quality. It's about it's going to work because VR doesn't even know where VR is going. Got to remember that. The Oculus Rift? No idea. HTC Vive? No idea. The best VR going right now, the best VR, is probably the Samsung VR, the thing that comes with the phones, because they just give it to you when you buy a phone. It's free. And you can just sit there with your phone on your face. I mean, there's not much to it. There's no cord. You just... And it's, it's done. You know? And it's actually marketed. Like, I've seen plenty of commercials for that. So that's a whole other thing. The best VR on the market is probably the phone one, aside from everything and people going graphics horse over anything. So, like I said, the PSVR has no real requirements other than you must have a camera, which it doesn't matter which model you have. The uh, Move controllers are not really required to work with the headset. It's required upon the game, depending on what game you have. And then the PS4 Pro, that's not even required. The base model PS4 will work. So that's three things. That's three fucking strikes right there. Three strikes. Fucking, they want four or $500 for this piece of equipment. But it's got three strikes before you even go buy the damn thing. They need to fix it. They need to fix the problems. And that's only three within the box that's not including the lack of fucking software meaning games and the price point that's not me including those two so they need to fix everything now if you have a psvr more power to you but look at how many ps4 are, ps4s are in the wild now do the math there's like what maybe 1% of PS4 owners own a PSVR. That's not good numbers. I don't care who you are. That's not good numbers. 60 plus million and it's not at but 1.1 million. That's 1% of PS4 owners own a PSVR. 1%. All because they didn't take the time to market it before the fucking switch. If they'd have taken the time to do it right, they'd probably have more. They'd probably have way more out there and way more people owning the fucking thing. But again, like I said, even if it is marketed as the cheapest VR, it's the cheapest VR. And being the cheapest doesn't always mean it's better. This video has gone on way longer than I wanted it to. I just wanted to inform you. Be careful falling for the scam of Sony saying, hey, VR is discounted because the VR headset should be discounted. And I don't mean discounted just because they took the camera out of the fucking box. I mean, it should be discounted because it's not the best one on the market. One, and two, if you already own a camera, if you take in the camera, you should get money off of it anyway. Because, um, if I'm not mistaken, don't you get money off for shit when you take in old shit to buy the new shit? So, if I have a camera, shouldn't I get money off of the VR headset? No matter what? Just throwing that out there. Deuces.